Hello, lesson three, homework. Here we go. Lesson three, we talked about this word called sample space. And so a sample space, just to give you a quick reminder of the definition, it is a list. So that means you're going to be listing things. It's a list of all outcomes in a chance experiment. All right, so we're going to list everything. When you flip a coin, what are all the ways it could turn out? You could get heads. And you can get tails. There's the list. Pretty short list there. Uh, what's the list of all the things that could happen when you select a random season of the year? Well, there's four seasons. And let's start with the one we're in now, spring, which is followed by summer. Then comes the fall, which is one of my favorite times of year. And then into the coldness of winter. Those are your list of randomly selecting a season of the year. And then last one, selecting a random day of the week. I'm going to abbreviate for this one, All right? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There's your list. Easy stuff. All right, number two, a computer randomly selects a letter from the alphabet. So we know random means that every letter had an equal chance to happen. So if this is true, how many different outcomes are in the sample space? Okay, if it's the alphabet, you need to list for me A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That is the sample space. If you don't list that, you're not giving me the sample space. That's It's a list. you got to list them all. What's the probability the computer produces the first letter of your name? Well, the first letter of your name is a very specific one out of the 26 in the alphabet. So, 126. What is the probability of selecting a random month of the year and getting a month that starts with the letter J? If you get stuck, consider listing the sample space. So let's list out the sample space here because I think that's a good idea. All right, so listing out the sample space. I'm going to have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, so we know that the bottom is going to be 12. So we know it's going to be 12 on the bottom. Now we just have to do uh, selecting this event that's going on. So we're looking for month of the year, okay? So what is the probability of selecting a random month of the year and getting a month that starts with the letter J? One, two, three. Three out of 12, which is reduction to a quarter you've got a 25 percent chance j j j three out of the 12. number four here's a diagram of a base of a bird feeder which is in the shape of a pentagon prism each small square of a grid is a square inch all right we're in square inches the distance between the two bases is eight inches what will the volume of the bird feeder be all right so volume we learned last unit is the area of the base times the height of the prism. So this is base area, and this is prism height. Okay? They give us that here. Okay, the prism height is 8 inches. We know that's the distance between this and the other end of the bird feeder. 8 inches. Okay, imagine that pentagon happening again over here. Okay. So really all we need, since we know the H, we just got to find the area of this shape here. So it's pretty easy. We know we can find a rectangle and a triangle area and add them together. Okay, let's start with the rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. We know that it's six by one, two, three, four, five. So we know that there's 30 squares in here. Now let's do the triangle. Triangle's area is half times the base times the height. Okay, the base we know is 6, and we know the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, straight up and down, 4. 6 times 4 is 24, and half of that would be 12. 
So we know that the triangle is 12 square inches, and we know that the rectangle is 30. So we know that the area of the base, so the base is equal to those two combined, and that would be 42 inches squared. And we plug that into our formula. Area of the base is 40 inches squared multiplied by 8. I'm sorry, 42. Let me fix that. 42. 42 inches squared multiplied by 8 inches in height. So when we do 42 times 8, we will have our answer for volume. We're stacking that on top of itself 8 times. 16, 32, 33. 336 inches squared. That's our volume. Volume equals 336 inches to the third power because it's how many cubes we can fit inside the birdhouse. That's number four. Yay!